Thank you, Sam. Senator Neil O'Donnell. There you go. Um, good morning, uh, Les Carlock. Um, sort of. <laughs> Um, Les Carlock, uh, I, I want to raise, if I can, uh, my colleague Sandra Rose Cummy was touched uh, in her earlier contribution around some of the big uh, macro issues uh, that still scar uh, our country as a result uh, of partition. Um, but obviously, in many ways, that, that, that scar and, and those negatives permeate uh, every uh, aspect uh, of our lives, whether it's the big issues around health, transport, infrastructure, or whether uh, it's about sitting down on a Saturday afternoon and trying to enjoy a game of sport. Um, I have to say I've never encountered an issue that has seen people, uh, obviously in the north, uh, so energised via social media with me than the continued practice uh, of satellite uh, subscribers uh, in the north to block uh, programmes on RTE. Uh, the latest uh, was the Ireland and New Zealand uh, rugby uh, game at, at the weekend. Before that, it has been coverage of the Olympic Games uh, and our Irish athletes who are participating there. Uh, it has been the Euros uh, when Ireland were doing so well uh, on the international uh, stage. So it goes right across. And, and, and I appreciate, Leader, it, it, it may not uh, actually be something that we can do about at this uh, direct point in time, because there are contractual and there are licensing uh, arrangements there. But I think it highlights a bigger problem around mindset. Uh, that when RTE are approaching the negotiations around uh, these issues and coverage uh, relating, uh, they are thinking uh, in partitionist terms and they aren't thinking about those of us uh, in the North who uh, do want to be able to view uh, our, our sporting heroes on uh, the international uh, stage. So I will be calling uh, Leader for the Minister contrib to contribute via a, a commencement debate. I will uh, be hoping that, that you can raise it with uh, your ministerial colleague. But I would, because we do have the opportunity so often in this chamber, last Carlock, to comment and commend and congratulate uh, our sporting heroes for representing us uh, so well. We have uh, very positively engaged right across this island, both north and south, to put together a very positive bid uh, to attract uh, the, World Cup, the Rugby World Cup uh, to Ireland. And I think, I fear that you could have the mad situation where we have that uh, uh, programme put together, where we have uh, some of those games taking place in the north, but you had to sit down and watch it in the north. You couldn't see it on our TV. So I think that's a great shame uh, and a very, very backward step. So I hope that that's something all senators, when engaging uh, across the, the media and the various sectors, will raise going forward. Go Senator. Senator Wilson. Thank you. Uh, Laska here, look, and uh, 